funny. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle, you're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service, when you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North... Five courtyards, we have a registered dietitian, and we have the best activities program. We only want to give the best to the Mississippi Delta. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Ruleville. I've been on heavy equipment my entire life. Yeah, I was nine years old and my dad told me to dig a ditch about a mile. My long-term goal has always been to teach. I had a professor when I was in culinary school that was kind of one of these life-changing guys. Spent a lot of time and effort with me. Uh, my long-term goal was always to give back, to be able to share my knowledge of food uh, with a younger generation. In the culinary world, our end game is very simple. We're trying to entertain you and we're trying to fulfill you. Whether it's through the sight of the food, the smell of the food, or the taste of the food, you have to have all three of those aspects together to make a really, really good dish. There's one thing their freshman year that I just beat to death, and it's the six keys to becoming a professional chef. Knowledge, skill, taste, judgment, dedication, and pride. And if a student has those six things and follows through with them, they will be wildly successful. Having a dream and following through with that dream is probably one of the most rewarding things that I can have. serve thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle, you're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust, from sales to service. It's hydraulics. Fourth semester, we go into AutoCAD, we go into PLC, Programmable Logic Control. For anything to do with electrical, we basically cover that. Their career options are unlimited, so you could be just a regular handyman doing residential, putting ceiling fans up, Remodels for kitchens, can lights, receptacles, hanging wall mounted TVs. You could go work with a grain bin system. You could work for a farmer, a grain elevator. Cellular South picks our guys up because they need technicians for the towers. They can make 50.
life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Canon. Visit us at Canon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive. Solutions and success since 1909. My name is Zach Warrington, pharmacist here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. Hair Drug Center, we are proud to offer a drive through service, fast free delivery, and a friendly staff. My favorite part about working here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland is our customers. We know them by name and they know us and we take care of them. One thing I think our customers appreciate about us is that we're fast and that's something we strive for is to get people their medication as quickly as possible. For all your medication needs, come to Hair Drug Center in Cleveland, we're here for you. Our program deals more with the agronomy side of agriculture and how to grow crops. Also with the agribusiness side, we talk about yield monitors on combines and cotton pickers. We talk about uh, guidance on tractors. We talk about variable rate technologies. We talk a little bit about remote sensing and how we're using the drones out on the farm. We get into dealing with a little bit on livestock. We cover so many weeks for each crop that we grow around here and I also teach a farm machinery and shop management class. With the technological background we've got now in agriculture, there are some good paying jobs out there waiting, and right now we've got more people calling in with jobs than we've got graduates to fill them. It's very special to me that you can take a seed and plant it in the ground and you can see a plant grow and you see something to harvest from it. MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. Kiki Jackson, I'm the administrator at Walter B. Crook Nursing Facility at North Sunflower Medical Center, and we would love to show you why to make us your home away from home. We're different because we're a long-term care facility with private rooms. We have five courtyards, we have a registered dietitian, and we have the best activities program. We only want to give the best to the Mississippi Delta. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Ruleville. I've been on heavy equipment my entire life. Yeah, I was nine years old and my dad told me to dig a ditch about a mile long and left me there for a week and I did it. It's a lot of different pieces of equipment it takes to get the job done. We have backhoes, kid steers, track loaders, bulldozers, motor graders, dump trucks. Guys, it's been a lot of time and effort with me. Uh, my long-term goal was always to give back, to be able to share my knowledge of food uh, with a younger generation. In the culinary world, our end game is very simple. We're trying to entertain you and we're trying to fulfill you. Whether it's through the sight of the food, the smell of the food, or the taste of the food, you have to have all three of those aspects together to make a really, really good dish. 
There's one thing their freshman year that I just beat to death, and it's the six keys to becoming a professional chef. Knowledge, skill, taste, judgment, dedication, and pride. And if a student has those six things and follows through with them, they will be wildly successful. Having a dream and following through with that dream is probably one of the most rewarding things that I can have. difficulties I think we've got them all worked out there'll be a few things that we have to fix here over the next 30 minutes probably but we'll just bear with us and we'll do our best to get it up keep everything up and rolling for you we'll be, we're still getting information in from the press box obviously we we're uh, again just getting to the truck Again, sorry, folks, we're just now, uh, we're getting, getting a little bit of information in from the press box now. Matt Burden on the hill pitching. Line drive shot. Going to be caught at shortstop. You want to pursue a four-year degree? We've got different avenues for that also. So my spare time, I'm still drawing at home, uh, designing residential homes and commercial buildings. I love what I do. And when I can teach a student to do and love what I do, it makes my day. It's wide open with electrical technology. We start with basic residential wiring. Uh, we start talking about how ACDC works together. And then we go into motor control for our second semester. Then after the first year, we go into pneumatics and hydraulics. Fourth semester, we go into AutoCAD. We go into PLC, programmable logic control. So anything to do with electrical, we basically cover that here. Their career options are unlimited, so you could be just a regular handyman doing residential, putting ceiling fans up, remodels for kitchens, can lights, receptacles, hanging wall-mounted TVs. You could go work with a grain bin system. You could work for a farmer, a grain elevator. Cellular South picks our guys up because they need technicians for the towers. They can make 50, 60 grand starting out. I have students who are hired before they get out of school. Welcome back. So we had a three up, three down, a top and the bottom part of the first inning. 
Stolen call, you're batting four in the hitting order for Itawamba. We'll be starting things off here in the top part of the second inning. J.P. Allen on the hill for the Trojans here in game one. Right-hander. Wire number 11. Ida Hernando, Mississippi the sophomore. Big breaking ball there from J.P. Allen. Missing a little bit low. Two balls, no strikes. He's going to bring to the plate. Number six, Trey McCory. And I'm sorry, I don't have that in. I'm going to try to find what the lineup, the number is. It was online. Trey McCory, time. I'm trying to sort this out. One second. At the plate, Bo Rock. So runner on first right now for Itawamba. Runner over to second, runners now on first and second for Itawamba. Coming to the plate, number 24. Hayden Roberts. Left-hander 24, Hayden Roberts playing right field. Fly ball out of play. Just the one out. Runners on first and second for Itawamba. Hopefully we got everything worked out now and we can uh, hang with you guys for a while. Looks like everything seems to be working fine. Breaking ball outside part of the plate. Going to be called a strike. No balls, two strikes shown on the scoreboard. Runners on first and second. A little bit of a half swing. Jacob Brooks going to field it. At shortstop, going to get the middle runner. The one at second gets Bo Rock. Out at the second base bag. Runner on, runners on the corners now. Dre McCray on third. And Hayden Roberts on third. Jarrett Morris at the plate, freshman. Ida Nesbitt, Mississippi. Played at Lewisburg, probably facing one of his former teammates on the hill. As um, J.P. Allen also out of Lewisburg. Two outs. Runners on the corners. Wild 1-0 pitch there from J.P. Allen. That's, that's an uncommon thing from him. Pass ball. Drew Gerald unable to uh, grab that high. Breaking ball that slips away from J.P. Allen and or attempted breaking ball that slips away from him. Runner moves over to second. One runner does come across the plate. So... Itawamba first on the board here in Moorhead, Mississippi, the Jimmy, Jimmy Bellapani Baseball Complex. Another pass ball. Drew Gerald just slipped right out of his, his glove. And we didn't know earlier today, um, there was, that was a question at one point whether or not we were going to be able to play this game today around Around 9 a.m., they were questioning whether or not that we had gotten too much rain here in Moorhead, Mississippi. It was, was, it was a small chance of rain today, so we didn't think anything of it. But when we woke up this morning, it was a nice little storm coming through. Three balls, one strike. 
Can be popped up out of play. Anyway, we found out about 10.30 or so that they, we were going to be playing this game. So everyone rushed out here to get things set up and ready to roll. Three balls, two strikes. Jared Morris, he's going to put this one in play and is going to land in front of the Trojan left fielder, Blake Chanel. It was not a ball he could have made a play on. Another run scores for Itawamba. But with this, all this rain today, of course, Trojan's been out here for a while. Trying to uh, make sure everything is ready out on the field. All the team is out here working on things. High fly ball out into shallow left field. Jacob Brooks, Trojan shortstop, going to step back there in shallow left field and make the catch. Out number three. Itawamba scores two in the top part of the second inning. And we can, we'll see if the Trojans can answer here in the bottom part of the second. We'll be back in just a second. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! nobody. Welcome back. At Burden on the hill, as I mentioned, for Itawamba. Here starting things out in game one. Again, we apologize for the technical difficulties. At least we got it up and running and we'll be able to, we should be able to stay live for the rest of the day. Shouldn't be any issues. We'll hope that's the case. Trojans at four in their hitting order. Alford Hill, the first baseman. White hander. Batting cleanup. Lays off the first pitch from Burden. Bounces a few feet in front of Alford Hill. Everyone so far looking like they're having a little trouble holding on to the ball. Alford Hill going to pop this one up. High fly ball out right field. Going to be in foul. Going to be foul. Out of play. Just barely out of play. That's going to bring to the plate for the Trojans. Right-hander that plays second base, Thomas Kewen. No outs, a runner on for the Trojans. Got a little bit of work to do. As it'll Wamba finds two runs in the top part of the second inning.
That pitch is going to be right down the middle. Fastball. Called strike to Thomas Kewen. Low ball blocked up by Stone Collier. Now one ball, two strikes for Thomas Kewen. Foul ball out of play. Going to see that a lot today as uh, there's a lot of moisture out here after the rain, of course. One ball, two strikes, Thomas Kewen. Oh, that one's going to be called strike as Kewen just looks on. So, a strike out there for Burden. Trojan catcher Drew Gerald going to be up next. Drew Gerald, right hander. Fairly consistent hitter for the Trojans. Throw again over to first. An offered heel on the bag. Drew Gerald going to lay off the first pitch thrown to him. It's going to be called a strike. To the freshman from Monroe, Louisiana. In strike two. No balls, two strikes. I think it's, I believe two outs on the board is correct. Let me, let me look back and process of eliminate nope just one out two showing on the board it is one out I think they got a little ahead on the, the strikes a base hit uh, I mean a, a fly ball out in the right field only one out and and I think Alfred Hill saw exactly what I saw when you look up his school board and it's showing Showing two outs on the board, and uh, he thinks he had to go on that. Anyway, that's going to do it for the top half of the set. I mean, the bottom half of the second inning. We'll take a short break. Have more Trojan baseball after this. You're watching MDCC Sports Network. Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. My name is Zach Warrington, pharmacist here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. Hair Drug Center, we are proud to offer a drive through service, fast free delivery, and a friendly staff. My favorite part about working here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland is our customers. We know them by name and they know us and we take care of them. One thing I think our customers appreciate about us is that we're fast and that's something we strive for is to get people their medication as quickly as possible. For all your medication needs, come to Hair Drug Center in Cleveland, we're here for you. Our program deals more with the agronomy side of agriculture and how to grow crops. Also with the agribusiness side, we talk about yield monitors on combines and cotton pickers. We talk about uh, guidance on tractors. We talk about variable rate. Welcome back. Yeah. 
Jade Treadaway going to lead things off in the top part of the third inning. Treadaway. Excuse me, Jude Treadaway. Left-hander, it's top of the hitting order for Itawamba, and it's going to be a base hit on into center field. So just like that, starting things out in the top part of the third. ICC has a base runner, so... Jackson Settle Myers at the plate, number two in the hitting order. Playing second base here in game one. Got a runner on, on the base in front of him. And no outs. Good pitch there, J.P. Allen. Uh, Settle Myers. Takes that pitch, catches the outside part of the plate. One ball, one strike, throw over to first. Ooh, breaking ball. Got a miss just a little high. Settle Myers was ready to get hit by that one. Good movement on that pitch from J.P. Allen. Low ball three. So Jackson Settlemeyer. Three balls, one strike, a ground ball, or a high bouncing ball, shall I say, to over to Cade Oswalt, and he's going to field it. And we're going to get the runner at second, but not able to turn the double play. Over at first. Just feel like things are moving a little bit slower today. In the field. Just a little bit soggy. See who's at the play here. Number 18. Ben Davis, sophomore out of Boonville, Mississippi. Designated hitter, batting the three spot for Itawamba. Breaking ball there, J.P. Allen blocked up. I drew Gerald, got together. Again, we got. Foul ball, two balls, two strikes. You can already kind of tell out in the outfield what, I, what I'm noticing right now from Trojan's movement out in the outfield. Um, Foster Mitchell had a ball hit near him a while ago. I'll, I'll readdress it. Okay, there we go. Uh, Foster Mitchell had a ball hit near him a while ago and definitely had some trouble taking off. And uh, it's, that's going to be a major factor today. So you're going to see a lot of base hits out in the outfield as, you know, Takes a little while to get some traction out there, and, and it's just, it's, again, we got a lot of rain this morning. Three balls, two strikes, fouled straight back. It's, so it's going to be a little bit of a, uh, probably a little bit of a muddy mess out in outfield. High ball three now, it's three balls, two strikes for sure. High level pitch there from J.P. Allen. From first, makes it over to third, stand up double there for Ben Davis. Very good patience at the plate as uh, he, was, he was up there a while. I mean, it seemed like five minutes. No, it wasn't, but it seemed like forever. Stone Collier going to be up next at the plate. Freshman out of Fulton, Mississippi. 
Ryan Hender playing catcher. Today for Itawamba. Maybe 15 yards away and going backwards and it's usually a pretty re routine ball or at least something that Trojans have a chance at today. It's just a uh, huge disadvantage. Anything out in the outfield could be a little bit of a challenge. Like I said, it's it's pretty it's pretty muddy out there. It's a uh, a lot of unexpected rain this morning. Breaking ball, Stone Collier's first pitch. He's going to take it. It's going to be called strike on the outside of play. Two balls, two strikes now. After the foul ball, Collier, and he's going to pop this one up. High fly ball, center field. And it's going to be caught. Foster Mitchell going to field it. He didn't have to run very far. Runner going to tag up from third. That was Jude Treadaway that tags up from third. So another run for Itawamba. Just the runner on second now. Two outs. In the hitting order, Dre McCray. Breaking ball, called strike as Dre McCray takes that pitch. It's a three to nothing, it'll wamba. Just the runner on second. Drew Gerald blocks that one up. Keeps it in front of him. One ball, one strike here for Dre McCray. McCray, of course. This is interesting. I'm looking at their uh, positions. I'll have to figure this out after uh, after this inning because um, on on the on the hitting order that we got sent for uh, Itawamba, it show it shows. I mean, it it shows two uh, two players playing right field. So we'll figure that out uh, in the next inning. I'll. Get some clarification on that. But I was fixed to talk about Dre McRae's position. I was like, hmm, somebody else. I've already said that for someone else, but we'll figure it out after this. Again, I usually like to work those things out for the game, but, um, you know, when you're having a little bit of technical difficulties, you have to make do. Blocked up again, Drew Gerald. Still the runner on second. Three balls, two strikes here for McRae. Two pitch coming from J.P. Allen. And McCray going to put it in play. A ground ball right to shortstop. Jacob Brooks going to field it for the Trojans. Throw it over to first out number three. Itawamba finds another run in the top part of the third inning to extend the lead three to nothing here early in game one in Moorhead, Mississippi. We'll be back in just a second. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. Talk a little bit about remote sensing and how we're using the drones out on the farm. We get into dealing with a little bit on livestock. We cover so many weeks for each crop that we grow around here. And I also teach a farm machinery and shop management class. With the technological background we've got now in agriculture, there are some good paying jobs out there waiting. And right now we've got more people calling in with jobs than we've got graduates to fill them. Very special to me that you can take a seed and plant it in the ground and you can see a plant grow and you see something to harvest from it.
MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. Welcome back. Brennan Searle is going to lead off for the Trojans. And bottom part of the third inning, Trojans scoreless so far. Trojan, uh, excuse me, uh, Searle's in the hitting order. Batting seven, Trojan right fielder. Sophomore out of Monroe, Louisiana. And off that first pitch, one ball, no strikes. As that pitch missed a good bit to the outside from Matt Burden. The lefty for Itawamba. That pitch missing to the inside. Two balls, no strikes now. Two zero pitch. Burden is going to be ripped right up the middle by Brennan Searles. You tried away, tried to make a play on it, just could not reach it. Lake Chanel now at the plate for the Trojans. Runner on first, no outs. Chanel eight in the hitting order, playing left field. Searle's going to steal second. He's going to get there in plenty of time. Balls and a strike, Blake Chanel. So now Searles on second. Chanel going to show bunt. So one ball and a strike. Still fouls that one back. Now one ball, two strikes. As I mentioned earlier, we were had a good bit of rain here this morning, and I think the Trojans had like Trojan team had to rush out here and cover the infield, so it, it's in pretty good shape. They were able to get out here and get that done before the bulk of the rain got here this morning. That's that's what made this game playable. Another foul ball out of play. One ball, two strikes, steal for Blake Chanel. Owen Gaden on deck. Trojans designated hitter, hitter and back up to the top of the lineup for that. After that for the Trojans. No outs. Good chance for the Trojans to get something going here. One ball, two strikes, steal four. Blake Chanel. Runner in scoring position for the Trojans. Another ball fouled off. Blake Chanel guarding the plate. That 
one missing. Maybe a little bit high and to the outside. For sure to the outside. Two balls, two strikes now for Chanel. Low ball three. Mad burden. Three, two, full count. Here facing Blake Chanel. And Chanel. Gonna pop another one up just foul down to the left side. Another long at bat here. Three balls, two strikes here for Blake Chanel. Still, Sills gets his lead at second. And Chanel going to pop this one up high. And it is going to be just behind the pitcher's mound. And Jude Treadaway will step up and catch that one. Owen Gaden now at the plate for the Trojans, which is just one out. Runner in scoring position still for the Trojans on second base. Brennan Searles on second for the Trojans. Off the base hit. And Owen Gaden going to lay down a bunt here. It's going to be fielded cleanly. And they're going to get the runner at first. They're going to get Owen Gaden. Brennan Searles. Moves over to third. Back to the top of the hitting order for the Trojans. Foster Mitchell. These are the, we missed his first at bat. He's followed by Kate Oswalt and Jacob Brooks. I don't know what the... Uh, Maybe a cover. Coach Stanley came out and talked with uh, the umpires. Not sure what this is about. No change there, whatever was being discussed. So Foster Mitchell at the plate, sophomore out of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Oak Grove High School. Foster Mitchell plays center field for the Trojans. And his second at bat facing Matt Burden. Lay off the first pitch. Maybe a little bit inside to the lefty. That pitch is going to be called a strike. Mitchell taking two straight. That one fastball right down the middle. One ball, one strike now for Mitchell. A Trojan deep and scoring position. Two balls and a strike. As Foster Mitchell lays off another pitch. And a fly ball here in, out into center field. And it is going to be caught. And I believe that is Hayden Roberts out in center field. I'll get confirmation on that here later. But anyway, we'll take a short break. Trojan scoreless after three. Itawamba out in front, three nothing. 
We'll take a short break. You're watching MDCC Sports Network. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. North Sunflower Medical Center is proud to serve the Delta with quality health care. We offer cardiology services with Jackson Heart, Swing Bed, Pulmonary Function Studies, Hospice Care, a Surgery Center, a Wound Clinic, Senior Care, and the Walter B. Crook Nursing Home. I know that sounds like a lot, but we offer even more. Check out NorthSunflower.com for a full list of our services. North Sunflower Medical Center is truly a gem of the Delta. Don't worry about driving too far to receive great care. It's right outside your back door. North Sunflower Medical Center. Take me to Louisville. Welcome back, Bo Rock. Laying off the first pitch there from J.P. Allen. So just a little short. And his second pitch is going to be a line drive shot, base hit. And foul ball first pitch. Um, so he tries to lay down a bunt. No balls and a strike. The ball landed about three feet in front of the plate. Drew Jarrell having to block it up. Even 2-2 count. Breaking ball missing to the outside. Three balls, two strikes. Maybe a little bit to the outside. J.P. Allen asking about it. It was close. It was very, very close. Ooh. I don't know what what else you, what else the umpire could want out of that one. So a walk, J.P. Allen walks Hayden Roberts. So runners on first and second. Coach Stanley. Showing bunt again. Morris gonna lay this one down. This one's perfect. And J.P. Allen gonna get over there. The throw over to first, not gonna be in time. That loads the bases. So no outs, bases loaded, and creeping up on the out number one. Runner does tag up from third and scores easily. So Itawamba extends their lead, and be back up to the top of their hitting order with Jude Treadaway. Ace and JP. I came right into this same program and this same shop. Well, with HVAC, there's so many different avenues you can take between refrigeration, ice machines, commercial refrigeration, uh, residential heating and air conditioning, commercial heating and air conditioning, and so on and so forth. There's endless opportunities for these guys. Our goal is to have these sophomores placed at a job where after spring break this to learn, I can show them how to get out and get a good job and they can make all the money they want to. 
you know, they get top pay when they graduate. For two years, you can make anywhere from $18, $24 an hour, somewhere in that range. I really like when I see a student learn something. That's very rewarding. Welcome back. We are at two in the hitting order for the Trojan, Cade Oswald. Cade Oswald plays third base for the Trojans. Starting things off here in the bottom of the fourth. Oswald taking the first pitch as it lands in the dirt right in front of him. Low ball one. Freshman third baseman for the Trojans. Uh, that pitch going to be called a strike from Burden on the inside part of the plate. Of course, Trojans, that's one of the things. They, they do have some young talent. That's a good thing to look that um, they can look forward to. Foul ball out of play ball. To, I mean, one ball, two strikes now. And Oswald, and they hit a solid ball, and it's going to be bobbled at second base. But it is Jackson Settlemeyer going to clean it up and stay with it and throw it over to first and get out number one. Jacob Brooks at the plate now for the Trojans with one out. And Jacob Brooks going to ground it over to third. Clean throw over to first. Two quick outs. That was uh, fielded by Jarrett Morris. That pitch going to be calling a strike. And scoreless. Going into the fifth. We'll take a short break. Precision agriculture essentially is applying crop production inputs on a site-specific basis to reduce waste, increase profit, and maintain the quality of the environment. It's uh, everything from working on the computer and geographic information systems, how we look at imagery, do prescription maps, to trapping beavers, to to learning about wild hog control and what the best methods are for that. It's a two-year program, so you can get an associate's degree or you can do it in essentially a year and a half if you want to just get the certificate in precision agriculture. And if you would like to continue on to a university with a four-year degree, there's a great articulation that we have now at Mississippi State University and also Alcorn. Welcome back, J.P. Allen. On the hill in game one for the Trojans. First batter he's going to face here in the top part of the fifth inning. The second baseman. for Itawamba, Jackson Settlemeyer. Yeah. 
Big breaking ball. Missing to the outside. I don't think uh, Settlemeyer's is swung at a pitch yet. We're two balls, two strikes. Okay, We're two balls, one strike. That one fouled off to the left side. Two balls, two strikes. There we go. I can see it, see it a little bit better there. Breaking ball, going to be called a strike as Settlemeyers takes that pitch. Didn't think it was uh, thought it might have been a little bit inside on. He thought it might be a little bit inside, uh, but either way, J.P. Allen gets the strike out there. Foul ball. This is. Number 18, Ben Davis. I believe he got a double his last time at the plate, if I'm not mistaken. One ball, one strike here at this at, on this at bat, facing J.P. Allen again. One out, nobody on in front of him. I know there was somebody on the, I think there was somebody on the bag in front of him last time, and he may have even knocked in some runs. I don't have that in front of me right now. Two balls, one strike, though, for Ben, ben Davis. Etcher. As I mentioned, hadn't cleaned up for Indians at Awamba Community College, and he's going to pop this one up, and it's, they're acting like it may be catchable. Drew Gerald. Drew Gerald going to catch it right on the fence on the uh, left side. Gerald had to run about 20 yards. Going to field it over at third base and throw it over to second, get the lead runner for out number three. And no run scored in the top part of the fifth inning. We'll take a short break, see if the Trojans can get on the board here in the fifth inning. I enjoy about teaching is taking a student who has never been around welding before and by the time we're through with them, they're able to go out and get a job and make a living and provide for themselves and their families. Job prospects look good. If you want to get out there and work, the jobs are there. Your range in which you can go basically depends. MSDelta.edu and register today. Dream big. Plan well and be anything. Welcome back. We are high level outside, maybe chin level a little lower than the high level, but one ball, two strikes for Thomas Kewen. And that ball going to be fouled. Inside pitch there on Thomas Kewen, the right hander. Right up on his handle. I couldn't have felt good. I couldn't have felt good. Still one ball, two strikes. On four pitches, and here we go. Kewen fouls another one off. Over to the left side. Get 
Again, foul ball out of play. Thomas Kewen guarding the plate. One ball, two strikes. Again, fouling it off. A bit of a half swing there, just go again, waiting for the perfect pitch, just having to put a bat on that one because that one was close. He's a little bit behind in the count. One ball, two strikes. Anything close. And Q and long at bat, he's going to finally round it over to between, between first and second, and it's going to be fielded by the Indians of Itawamba's second baseman, Jackson Settlemyers. So one out, bottom part of the fifth inning. Drew Gerald going to be up next at the plate. Drew Gerald wearing number That pitch is going to be called a strike. Catches the out. Still one ball, two strikes. And Drew Jarrell. Got to go down watching his fastball. He didn't think it was there, but got to guard that plate. One ball, two strikes. And just, just didn't think it was his pitch, but it's brings Brennan Searles to the plate for the Trojans. Got a base hit his last time at the plate. Earls lays off the wild pitch, nearly, nearly hits him. Looks like it landed in front of the box. The batter's box, uh, his batter's box on the right hand of Brennan Searles. Two balls and no strikes. As Burden and Collier talk with each other for a little bit. Burden way behind, two balls, no strikes. Facing Brennan Searles, Searles going to lay off that pitch and it's going to be called a strike the inside part of the plate to the right-hander. 2-1 pitch coming from Burden and Searles going to put it in play. It's going to be a ground ball fielded by Jude Treadaway and he will throw it over to first and... Get out number three. So Trojans still scoreless. We'll take a short break. It'll wind out in front for nothing. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! My heart is with the students. We are such a tight-knit group here in Business Office Technology. We just get to know them personally. We get to know them as far as what they want to do with their future to help guide and direct and um, be a part of them. Our students that go the accounting direction will take the same basic core classes that all BOT students take. They also begin to pick up advanced business accounting that the other majors do not. They take payroll accounting, they take income tax accounting, QuickBooks. 
they all will be able to go and be um, like a payroll clerk, an accounts payable receivable clerk. Some of our students want to go on to the university level and they can, and they're prepared to go on and get a, a maybe possibly a bachelor's degree in accounting or even get their CPA. Welcome back. Bo Rock gonna lead things off in the top part of the sixth inning for Etiwamba Community College. First pitch gonna be a, called a strike. That breaking ball from J.P. Allen missing low. One ball, one strike. A ground ball right over to first base. Alford Hill gonna field it. And J.P. Allen gonna run over to the bag and Alford Hill gonna flip it to him. Out number one. The center fielder Hayden Roberts at the plate. Jarrett Morris, wearing number 12. Runner going to take off. Didn't hear the Trojans yell about it, but foul ball. Morris, so of course, runner has to go back. Runner on first. For Itawamba, of course, after the walk. Morris eight in the hitting order. Solid contact here, fly ball over to the left side. Foul ball gonna land over by the on bullpen. No balls, two strikes. or the right-hander, Jarrett Morris. Allows Hayden Roberts to move over to second. On a pass ball, just. I'd, I'd. Luke Woods at the plate now after the fly out, Jarrett Morris. Luke Woods playing left field. Now with two outs, a runner on second for Itawamba. It may have been outside and low. So two balls. Uh-oh. Your North Mississippi John Deere dealer, delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Are you or a family member in need of rehabilitation? Well, North Sunflower Medical Center can help. Our swing bed program is designed to assist patients who have recently experienced a knee or hip replacement, heart surgery, or an operation that requires further rehabilitation. So if you have been in the hospital for a few days and are not quite ready to go back home. Welcome back. Blake Chanel gonna lead things off for the Trojans in the bottom part of the six. Eight in the hitting order, Trojan left fielder. And first pick. Jackson Settlemeyers just flips it over to Jay Treadaway and he throws it over to first and that is two quick outs. So turns this inning around. No runners on now for the Trojans. Trojans are back up to the top of the hitting order. Foster Mitchell at the plate. Trojan wearing number 21, playing center field. Laying off two straight pitches, I believe it's two. Nobody on Foster Mitchell at the plate. Breaking ball to the outside. Matt Burden. Number 23, 
Rub it up, bro. Sorry about that, folks. Unsure what's going on. We're not 
Not receiving, still not receiving information from up top. But top part of the seventh inning, three up, three down. We're still going to try to figure out what's going on here and try to get some information updated as it should be. Visitor scores 4 nothing, and we are in the in the seventh. High fly ball here, Alford Hill out in the left field, and it's going to be caught. We'll take a short break. Be back after this. You're watching MDCC Sports Network. When I came up, you know, everybody said go to a four-year college, blah, blah, blah. Really and truly, if I had it to do over again, I would come to a community college and learn a skill. Because skilled labor right now, these guys are the future. They're going to be the ones making the money. We do offer a certificate program, a technical certificate program, and an associate's degree out of this program. So there's three career paths that they could take, a one-year, two-year, or take some academics and do an associate's degree. We do an apprentice program and an on-the-job training program through Wynn Job Center with several of our dealers in our area. And I've got dealerships and private guys just beating the door down needing technicians. So this skill right here is something they can carry on through life, they can make a living at. If you know what you're doing, you can make six figures. No problem. That's a lot of money. Welcome back. Got the score right. Hopefully uh, we can figure out between games what's going on. I believe this is the eighth inning. We'll, we'll get the uh, – again, we're trying to get all this corrected. So we got a new pitcher here for the Trojans. It's uh, Micah Reed, right-hander. We're number 10. Sophomore out of New Albany, Mississippi. At the plate. Number 10, Collier, Stone Collier. And the first batter to face... Micah Reed is going to be hit by a pitch. Inside pitch gets, catches the knee of the Indian catcher, Stone Collier, Dre McCray at the plate. McCray playing right field. This pitch for Micah Reed blocked up and misses a little bit to the outside. One ball, no strikes. And our, our scoreboard information not updating properly. Again, we're gonna just gonna have to work it out after the ball game. Hopefully we can get some resolution. Is McCray gonna show bunt. Only thing we're we're having to manually input stuff right now, so one ball, one strike. I believe that's correct. That's why you're not seeing the balls and strikes update. Cray laying off of that pitch. Two balls on a strike. Second hitter for Itawamba to face Micah Reed. So 
Just a little bit of high ball three. So it's three and one. And it's going to be put into play. Base hit out in the left field. Runners now on first and second for Itawamba. Bo Rock at the plate. Two runners on in front of him, no outs. Bo Rock, first baseman for Itawamba. Almost, almost a triple play. A line drive shot to Alford Hill. He catches it, steps on the bag, nearly gets the runner at second. So two quick outs. Stone Collier on second. At the plate, number 24, Hayden Roberts. Robert's going to foul that one out of play to the left side. Robert's playing center field. That one foul again to the left side. No balls, two strikes. And a ground ball right to second base. Trojans, Thomas Kewen. Second baseman fields it, throws it over to first to get out number three. So nothing hurt there in the top part of the eighth. Trojans. Hold them off as Itawamba leaves one on the bag. We'll take a short break. Have more Trojan baseball after this. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannondale. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Kiki Jackson, I'm the administrator at Walter B. Crook Nursing Facility at North Sunflower Medical Center, and we would love to show you why to make us your home away from home. We're different because we're a long-term care facility with private rooms. We have five courtyards, we have a registered dietitian, and we have the best activities program. We only want to give the best to the Mississippi Delta. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Ruleville. Welcome back, bottom of the eighth. Trojan scoreless, trailing four nothing. Matt Burden been on the heel all of game one for um, 
Indians of Itawamba Community College. Thomas Kewen gonna lead off number five in the hitting order for the Trojans. Way in second base, right hander. So five, six, seven in the hitting order for the Trojans, starting things out in the bottom of the eighth inning. First pitch called a strike, breaking ball there from Burden. No balls and a strike. And Thomas Kewen trying to lay down a bunt. It's going to be foul. So no balls, two strikes. And he's going to put it in play. It's going to be just foul, actually. Down the third baseline. Still no balls, two strikes. Thomas Kewen. Two pitch from Burden. And Thomas Kewen going to put it in play. Ground ball. That is Settle Myers who fields it. Jackson Settle Myers, the Indians. Second baseman. And he's going to throw it over first out number one. In the bottom of the eighth. It's Drew Gerald at the plate now for. The Trojans, Trojan catcher. You can see the sun starting to pop out a little bit here in Moorhead, Mississippi. It's kind of been a, it's been overcast all day. And of course got a lot of rain this morning. More, of course, weren't expecting any rain this morning and got a good bit. One ball and a strike for Drew Gerald. Drew Gerald lays off that pitch. One ball, two strikes. Excuse me, two balls, one strike. Solid contact here, high fly ball out in the left field, right at the wall. And a solo shot there for a Trojan catcher, Drew Gerald. So Trojans on the board. Four to one. Off for of the solo shot from Drew Gerald. Brennan Searles up next for Mississippi Delta. Nobody on after the one solo shot. Trojan still got some work to do and this thing's not over. Brennan Searles gonna lay off the first pitch, breaking ball from Burden. It's going to be called strike. One out. Low. One ball, one strike. Searle's going to foul that one out of play to the right side. Now one ball, two strikes for Brennan Searles. High ball, two even, two two count. Searles lays off the chest high pitch. Maybe a bit inside two. I don't know how 
Ray laid off of that one. That one misses just a little bit to the outside. Three balls and two strikes. Searles being super patient here. Yeah, that was definitely a tough one to lay off of. And Searles going to put this one in play. High fly ball. Fly, high fly ball. And it's going to be caught out in left field. Out number two. Blake Chanel up next for the Trojans with two outs. Nobody on. Trojans have found a run in this inning off a solo shot from Bur Drew Gerald. Still got some work to do. They want to get back in this thing. And Blake Chanel, base hit. Just gets under. Settle Myers at second. Hard hit ball, line drive shot that lands in the dirt. Just right in front of Settle Myers, unable to make a play on it. So a base, another base runner. For the Trojans in the bottom of the eighth. Runner on first, conversation on the hill between Burden and Collier. This is Trojan, Trojan's designated hitter, Owen Gaden, at the plate. Going to lay off the first pitch from the lefty. Matt Burden is going to catch the outside part of the plate. Four strike one. Throw over to first. And we might have a run down here. And actually, Blake Chanel is, takes off to second and is tagged out at the bag and we are going into the top of the ninth. Trojans trailing four to one. We'll be back in just a second. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. I've been on heavy equipment my entire life. Yeah, I was nine years old and my dad told me to dig a ditch about a mile long and left me there for a week and I did it. It's a lot of different pieces of equipment it takes to get the job done. We have backhoes, kids steers, tracks. My long-term goal has always been to teach. I had a professor when I was in culinary school that was kind of one of these life-changing guys spent a lot of time and effort with me. Uh, my long-term goal was always to give back, to be able to share my knowledge of food uh, with a younger generation. In the culinary world, our end game is very simple. We're trying to entertain you and we're trying to fulfill you. Whether it's through the sight of the food, the smell of the food, or the taste of the food, you have to have all three. Jared Morse gonna lead things off here in the top of the ninth inning. It's going to be high fly ball out into right field, and it's going to be a double there for Jarrett Morris. And it is the ninth inning. Apologize, we're again having a little bit of issues with our, our score data coming in, but this includes our innings and stuff like that, so a lot of it's having to be manually entered. We'll fix it between games. But Deep in the hitting order, Luke Wood now at the plate, no outs, runner on second, Micah Reed. On the hill for the Trojans, bunt gonna be shown. Luke Wood, he pulls it back as the low outside pitch for Micah Reed. Misses by just a bit. Showing, but again, this time fouled off. 
So one ball, one strike. Just foul. I thought it was a perfect bunt looking from the batter's eye view. Kind of started to get out of the view of what we could see. One ball, two strikes. No outs the top of the ninth and this ball is going to be popped up. Brennan Searles going to run a long way to uh, catch that one in foul territory. Not far away from the infield, the Trojan right fielder makes the catch. So now and Itawamba back up to the top of their hitting order. So I, I forgot to mention that on Jude Treadaway. So this is Jackson Settlemeyer's second baseman for Itawamba for the ninth inning. Trojans need to hold them off the best they can. Ooh. Hit right in the wrist, it looked like. Settlemeyer's gonna walk. So now runners on the corners for Itawamba. Ben Davis. Ben Davis designated hitter. Batting three in the hitting order for Itawamba. Two outs. Runner deep in scoring position, then one runner on first. Micah Reed of uh, the last inning. Sports Network. We'll be back, be back after this. Together to make a really, really good dish. There's one thing their freshman year that I just beat to death, and it's the six keys to becoming a professional chef. Knowledge, skill, taste, judgment, dedication, and pride. And if a student has those six things and follows through, here in game one. Been solid. Last inning was first inning. Trojans were able to put a run, uh, get a run on the board. Not many base runners for Foster Mitchell stepping up to the plate. Foster Mitchell trailing four to one. And that'll do it for Itawamba here in game one. Just fouled on the third baseline. And we will step aside for a little bit. It should be about 30 minutes or so as they are going to read. Deer Dealer, delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. at North Central Medical Center has been a godsend in many ways in that it has helped indigenous people here in this area to receive medical treatment. They've done a magnificent job and the hospital has not only attracted clientele from uh, the rural Sunflower County area, but surrounding counties. Mr. Morrow along with, with Daniel has done a magnificent job along with the other staff. Find out why everyone is saying, take me to Rural.
we are broad in our area of what we teach. A student can come through and they can go in the mechanical design aspect of it. They can go into the architectural. They can go into the civil and surveying, estimating. I would say this is probably the sixth or fifth year that we've been heavy into the 3D printing. It is a valuable tool and it's the wave of the future. You don't have to have an art background. You don't have to have an engineering background. You want to pursue a four-year degree? We've got different avenues for that also. So my spare time, I'm still drawing at home, uh, designing residential homes and commercial buildings. I love what I do. And when I can teach a student to do and love what I do, it makes my day. It's wide open with electrical technology. We start with basic residential wiring. Uh, we start talking about how ACDC works together. And then we go into motor control for our second semester. Then after the first year, we go into pneumatics and hydraulics. Fourth semester, we go into AutoCAD. We go into PLC, programmable logic control. So anything to do with electrical, we basically cover that. Their career options are unlimited, so you could be just a regular handyman doing residential, putting ceiling fans up, remodels for kitchens, can lights, receptacles, hanging wall-mounted TVs. You could go work with a grain bin system. You could work for a farmer, a grain elevator. Cellular South picks our guys up because they need technicians for the towers. They can make 50, 60 grand starting out. I have students who are hired before they get out of school. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle, you're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service, when you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive. Is your equipment you need to get the job done? What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer, delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. My name is Zach Warrington, pharmacist here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. Hair Drug Center, we are proud to offer a drive through service, fast free delivery, and a friendly staff. My favorite part about working here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland is our customers. We know them by name and they know us and we take care of them. One thing I think our customers appreciate about us is that we're fast and that's something we strive for is to get people their medication as quickly as possible. For all your medication needs, come to Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. We're here for you. Our program deals more with the agronomy side of agriculture and how to grow crops. Also with the agribusiness side, we talk about yield monitors on combines and cotton pickers. We talk about uh, guidance on tractors. We talk about variable rate technologies. We talk a little bit about remote sensing and how we're using the drones out on the farm. We get into dealing with a little bit on livestock. We cover so many weeks for each crop that we grow around here and I also teach farm machinery and shop management class. 
With the technological background we've got now in agriculture, there are some good paying jobs out there waiting. And right now we've got more people calling in with jobs than we've got graduates to fill them. Passionate instructors and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. Not just coming to us for a vehicle, you're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service, when you think car, think Canon. Visit us at Canon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ramble Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Canon deal. Nobody! Jackson Heart, Swing Bed, pulmonary function studies, hospice care, a surgery center, a wound clinic, senior care, and the Walter B. Crook Nursing Home. I know that sounds like a lot, but we offer even more. Check out northsunflower.com for a full list of our services. North Sunflower Medical Center is truly a gem of the Delta. Don't worry about driving too far to receive great care. It's right outside your back door. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Ruval. Love the field of study, love refrigeration. It's what I've done basically since I got out of high school. I came right into this same program and this same shop. Well, with HVAC, there's so many different avenues you can. I am a graduate of Mississippi Delta. I stayed here four years. I took HVAC and I took industrial electricity slash industrial maintenance. I don't get stuck in a rut. That's why I chose industrial maintenance, heating and air, for the simple reason I'm not stuck in a building all day. I might be wiring up lights at a customer's house today. I might be working on a well motor tomorrow. Then they might want to go to a factory. Then they might want to go work for a welding company. A student will be able to decide what way he wants to go. Information systems, how we look at imagery, do prescription maps, to trapping beavers, to, to learning about wild hog control and what the best methods are for that. It's a two-year program, so you can get an associate's degree or you can do it in essentially a year and a half if you want to just get the certificate in precision agriculture. And if you would like to continue on to a university. They've been working for two weeks now. They don't even come to class. They come and take their exam at the end of the year and they've been getting a paycheck. You can make all the money that you're willing to go out and make. The sky's the limit. MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. My heart is with the students. We are such a tight-knit group here in Business Office Technology. 
We just get to know them personally. We get to know them as far as what they want to do with their future to help guide and direct and um, be a part of them. Our students that go the accounting direction will take the same basic core classes that all BOT students take. They also begin to pick up advanced business accounting that the other majors do not. They take payroll accounting, they take income tax accounting, QuickBooks. They all will be able to go and be um, like a payroll clerk, an accounts payable receivable clerk. Some of our students want to go on to the university level and they can, and they're prepared to go on and get a, a possibly a bachelor's degree in accounting or even get their CPA. Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Are you or a family member in need of rehabilitation? Well, North Sunflower Medical Center can help. Our swing bed program is designed to assist patients who have recently... Previous to this, I was actually a math major, but I have my own small business. So I like to use those experiences and share those with my students to hopefully inspire them. So in administrative office, you cover all of the Microsoft Office programs. You'll take Microsoft Word 1 and 2, you'll take Excel 1 and 2, and you'll take Microsoft Access. Also, you take business communications, so you learn how to communicate effectively in the business world, and that's so important. One really great benefit to our students is they get to do an externship, so they actually get to go out and shadow and work for a business, so they get those hands-on experiences. They can start off in any entry-level position as far as a payroll clerk goes, an administrative assistant, even possibly a manager of a business. When I came up, you know, everybody said go to a four-year college, blah, blah, blah. Really and truly, if I had it to do over again, I would come to a community college and learn a skill. Because skilled labor right now, these guys are the future. They're going to be the ones making the money. We do offer a certificate program, a technical certificate program, and an associate's degree out of this program. So there's three career paths that they could take. A one-year, two-year, or take some academics and do an associate's degree. We do an apprentice program and an on-the-job training program through Wynn Job Center with several of our dealers in our area. And I've got dealerships and private guys just beating the door down needing technicians. So this skill right here is something they can carry on through life, they can make a living at. If you know what you're doing, you can make six figures. No problem. That's a lot of money. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle, you're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service, when you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. 
Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Kiki Jackson, I'm the administrator at Walter B. Crook Nursing Facility at North Sunflower Medical Center, and we would love to show you why to make us your home away from home. We're different because we're a long-term care facility with private rooms. We have five courtyards, we have a registered dietitian, and we have the best activities program. We only want to give the best to the Mississippi Delta. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Ruleville. I've been on heavy equipment my entire life. Yeah, I was nine years old and my dad told me to dig a ditch about a mile long and left me there for a week and I did it. It's a lot of different pieces of equipment it takes to get the job done. We have backhoes, kid steers, track loaders, bulldozers, motor graders, dump trucks. You need to know all of them and be a master at one or two of them. That way you can fluctuate throughout a construction job site. Construction equipment, it's everywhere. My long-term goal has always been to teach. I had a professor when I was in culinary school that was kind of one of these life-changing guys. Spent a lot of time and effort with me. Uh, my long-term goal was always to give back, to be able to share my knowledge of food uh, with a younger generation. In the culinary world, our end game is very simple. We're trying to entertain you and we're trying to fulfill you. Whether it's through the sight of the food, the smell of the food, or the taste of the food, you have to have all three of those aspects together to make a really, really good dish. There's one thing their freshman year that I just beat to death, and it's the six keys to becoming a professional chef. Knowledge, skill, taste, judgment, dedication, and pride. And if a student has those six things, and follows through with them, they will be wildly successful. Having a dream and following through with that dream is probably one of the most rewarding things that I can have. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle, you're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service, when you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909.
hospital in North Central Medical Center has been a godsend in many ways in that it has helped indigenous people here in this area to receive medical treatment. They've done a magnificent job and the hospital had not only attracted clientele from uh, the rural Sunflower County area, but surrounding counties. Mr. Morrow, along with, with Daniel, has done a magnificent job, along with the other staff. Find out why everyone is saying, take me to Rural. We are broad in our area of what we teach. A student can come through and they can go in the mechanical design aspect of it. They can go into the architectural. They can go into the civil and surveying, estimating. I would say this is probably the sixth or fifth year that we've been heavy into the 3D printing. It is a valuable tool and it's the wave of the future. You don't have to have an art background. You don't have to have an engineering background. You want to pursue a four-year degree? We've got different avenues for that also. So my spare time, I'm still drawing at home, uh, designing residential homes and commercial buildings. I love what I do. And when I can teach a student to do and love what I do, it makes my day. It's wide open with electrical technology. We start with basic residential wiring. Uh, we start talking about how ACDC works together. And then we go into motor control for our second semester. Then after the first year, we go into pneumatics and hydraulics. Fourth semester, we go into AutoCAD. We go into PLC, programmable logic control. So anything to do with electrical, we basically cover that. Their career options are unlimited, so you could be just a regular handyman doing residential, putting ceiling fans up, remodels for kitchens, can lights, receptacles, hanging wall-mounted TVs. You could go work with a grain bin system. You could work for a farmer, a grain elevator. Cellular South picks our guys up because they need technicians for the towers. They can make 50, 60 grand starting now. I have students who are hired before they get out of school. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle, you're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service, when you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer, delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. My name is Zach Warrington, pharmacist here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. At Hair Drug Center, we are proud to offer a drive-through service, fast free delivery, and a friendly staff. 
My favorite part about working here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland is our customers. We know them by name and they know us and we take care of them. One thing I think our customers appreciate about us is that we're fast and that's something we strive for is to get people their medication as quickly as possible. For all your medication needs, come to Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. We're here for you. Our program deals more with the agronomy side of agriculture and how to grow crops. Also with the agribusiness side, we talk about yield monitors on combines and cotton pickers. We talk about uh, guidance on tractors. We talk about variable rate technologies. We talk a little bit about remote sensing and how we're using the drones out on the farm. We get into dealing with a little bit on livestock. We cover so many weeks for each crop that we grow around here and I also teach a farm machinery and shop management class. With the technological background we've got now in agriculture, there are some good paying jobs out there waiting. And right now we've got more people calling in with jobs than we've got graduates to fill them. It's very special to me that you can take a seed and plant it in the ground and you can see a plant grow and you see something to harvest from. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. be pitching game two for the Trojans. In the field, everything looks to be the same. We're trying to. Just bear with us for a second. After the base hit, from tread away. It's a runner on first. That pitch is going to be called a strike from Lafayette. One ball, one strike for Settlemeyer. One out. Three in the hitting order. Let's see, number 18. Nothing changed. It doesn't, doesn't look like. Ben Davis at the plate. Runner on first in front of him. Let's see what we got here for. It's mostly the same. And we're still trying to. That one fouled back. Straight back. High level pitch. And a little bit outside maybe. Two balls, two strikes here for the right-hander. Ben Davis, first at bat facing Colby Lafayette. Sorry folks, I think we may have lost the stream there for a little bit. Hopefully we're back up and running now. Trying to keep an eye on it. We have had some technical issues throughout the day. We apologize for it. We think we got everything back up and running. Colby Lafayette facing Ben Davis here. Full count, low outside, ball four. And Colby Lafayette going to walk Ben Davis. Runners on first and second. Now for Itawamba. 
Bring Stone Collier. Collier gonna be the designated hitter for Itawamba here in game two. We're number 10. Freshman out of Fulton, Mississippi. Maybe he caught four. Itawamba in game one, laid off that pitch. High ball one from Colby Lafayette. Low ball two, low and outside. Drew Gerald gonna come out and talk to his pitcher. Colby Lafayette, first inning, game two. Of course, if you're just joining us, it'll one by one game one, four to one. Fouled away. Two balls and a strike. And that one fouled straight back. Even 2 2 count. Fouled back. Still two two. Call your long at bat here against. Colby Lafayette, his first time at the plate. A ground ball. And Trojan's going to turn to close things out in the top part of the first inning. So after the top after the top part of the first inning, Trojan uh Itawamba scoreless. We'll take a short break. You're watching NBCC Sports Network. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. North Sunflower Medical Center is proud to serve the Delta with quality health care. We offer cardiology services with Jackson Heart, Swing Bed, Pulmonary Function Studies, Hospice Care, a Surgery Center, a Wound Clinic, Senior Care, 
and the Walter B. Cook Nursing Home. I know that sounds like a lot, but we offer even more. Check out NorthSunflower.com for a full list of our services. North Sunflower Medical Center is truly a gem of the Delta. Don't worry about driving too far to receive great care. It's right outside your back door. North Sunflower Medical Center. Take me to Louisville. Love the field of study, love refrigeration. It's what I've done basically since I got out of high school. I came right into this same program and this same shop. Well, with HVAC, there's so many different avenues you can take between refrigeration, ice machines, commercial refrigeration, uh, residential heating and air conditioning, commercial heating and air conditioning, and so on and so forth. Welcome back, Eli Atkins. Got to start things out for Itawamba here in game two. We're number 32, right-hander. We're number 32, like as I mentioned, Eli Atkins out of Ripley, Mississippi. First batter he's going to face Trojans. Left-hander. Foster Mitchell, who plays center field for the Trojans. And Foster Mitchell going to put this one in play. Ground ball right over to the right side. First baseman, um, <clears throat> Bo Rock, going to step on the field and step on the back. That's going to bring to the plate. Cade Oswald, Trojan third baseman. I did get something mixed up while ago. I said uh, Ben Davis. Game one played first. He was he was designated hitter in game one. I got it mixed up there. Stone Collier was catcher. That's, that's what I was. Did get mixed up. But figured it out now. Either way. At the plate right now is Cade Oswald, the Trojan. Third baseman. First time facing. First time, as I mentioned, first time facing uh, Eli Atkins. And these two contests. Breaking ball there on the inside part of the plate. Going to be called a strike. Even 2-2 count for Kate Oswalt. And Oswalt going to put this one in play. It's going to be a base hit right up the middle. Lands about 20 yards into outfield. Base hit there, Kate Oswalt now at the plate for the Trojans, Jacob Brooks. Trojan shortstop. We're in number six. Missing to the outside. Throw over to first. What's a runner on first? Just one out right now. High and inside, ball one. Atkins. One pitch from Atkins. Going to be called a strike on the outside part of the plate. So two, one ball, two strikes. Ah, bouncing ball fielded over at third base by. Barrett Morris, he throws it over to second, gets the lead runner. Throw over to first, not in time for to turn the two. Still a runner on first, one out. Alford Hill at the plate for the Trojan. Trojan first baseman out of Cleveland, Mississippi. 
Taking the first pitch and it's going to be called a strike. Again, throw over to first. Jacob Brooks on the back for the Trojans. Low outside ball one. Eli Atkins. Even one one count facing Alford Hill. Pitch called a strike. One ball, two strikes now. Alford Hill laying off that pitch as well. A little bit to the inside part of the strike zone on the right-hander, Alford Hill. And that's a hard, well, good contact, but foul down the third baseline. Looks like we're going to get some fish later on tonight. As you can see, Larry Fish House in the background. High ball, too. This is what I was talking about. Larry Fish House truck right behind. Offered heel. Two balls, two strikes. And a line drive shot going to be caught. Bye, Jude Treadaway. There's nothing better to have a student come back after five or six years to give you their success story. How they went from where they were to where they are now. And I was a part of that. I am a graduate of Mississippi Delta. I stayed here four years, I took HVAC, and I took industrial electricity slash industrial maintenance. I don't get stuck in a rut. That's why I chose industrial maintenance, heating in there, for the simple reason I I'm not stuck in a building all day. I might be wiring up lights at a customer's house today, I might be working on a well motor tomorrow, then they might want to go to a factory, then they might want to go work for a welding company. A student will be able to decide what way he wants to go. If they're serious, they can get a job anywhere. Well, I tell them if they have a willingness to learn, I can show them how to get out and get a good job, and they can make all the money they want to. You know, they get top pay when they graduate. For two years, you can make anywhere from $18, $24 an hour, somewhere in that range. I really like when I see a student learn something. That's very rewarding. Welcome back, starting inning two. We're scoreless at the plate. The first baseman, Bo Rock, gonna lead off for Indians of Itawamba Community College. And he's gonna foul off the first pitch. Throwing to him from Colby Lafayette. Right-handed pitcher for the Trojans. Out of Water Valley, Mississippi. That pitch missing just a little bit to the outside. One ball, one strike now. Big breaking ball there from Colby Lafayette. One ball, two strikes now. So we're gonna miss. Bo Rock. Ball is going to be popped up out into left field. And Blake Chanel going to backtrack and be able to make the catch out number one in the top part of the second inning. Dre McCray is up next at the plate for Itawamba. And these two probably likely played 
with one another. Both out of Water Valley for sure did. Dre McRae facing one of his former teammates. Let me confirm that. Oh, yeah, they're both Water Valley alums. So Dre McRae, two balls, one strike, facing his former teammate. And a swing and a miss, even 2-2 two, two count now for McCray. McCray, of course, playing right field as he did in game one. The 2-2 two, two pitch from Lafayette. Some heat, swing and a miss. Strike three, so two quick outs on the top part of the second inning. Trojans really need a final win here in game two. Left-hander Hayden Roberts wearing number 24. First pitch. Roberts going to lay off of it. Misses a little bit to the inside of the plate. High ball one, I mean ball two, that one. So now two balls, no strikes. Here's the 2-0 pitch from Colby Lafayette. It's gonna bounce super high and that's unfortunately Thomas Kewen unable to field it off of that super high bounce and it just bounces off his glove out and toward, out into center field. So base runner for Itawamba. In the top part of the second inning, that was uh, on the base is Hayden Roberts. Jarrett Morris now at the plate, third baseman for Itawamba. He's going to lay off that first pitch. I didn't hear anything there. Strike showing up on the board, but I didn't hear anything. So I think it's a ball. One ball, no strikes. Ah, it's a strike. So one ball, one strike. That's what I was thinking. So Jarrett Morris batting eight in the hitting order. And that one's gonna be fouled away over to the right side. Still one ball, two strikes. Two outs here for the Trojans. Low outside, ball three, I mean ball, ball two. Throw down to second there from Drew Gerald from his knee as uh, Hayden Roberts makes his way over to second. So two balls and two strikes. Runner in scoring position. Ball blocked up and kept in front of him, but still, Drew Gerald couldn't uh, couldn't catch that ball cleanly. Allows the runner to move over to third. So three balls, two strikes. Runner now on third. Jarrett Morris. Base hit would do it. Easily knock a run in for Itawamba. Instead, Jarrett Morris going to walk. On a handful of pitches. That one missing high into the inside from Colby Lafayette. Wow. Go, 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 
Powell lays off that pitch. Wow, Lafayette nearly hit by that. That was a lot going on there. Throw down to second by Drew Gerald. And uh, Trojan shortstop, Jacob Brooks turns. And a ground ball fielded by Jacob Brooks. Jacob Brooks going to make a clean throw over to first. Out number three. But Itawamba finds one run in the top of the second inning, and they're out in front. We'll take a short break and have the bottom half of the second after this. Precision agriculture essentially is applying crop production inputs on a site-specific basis to reduce waste, increase profit, and maintain the quality of the environment. It's uh, everything from working on the computer and geographic information systems, how we look at imagery, do prescription maps, to trapping beavers, to to learning about wild hog control and what the best methods are for that. It's a two-year program, so you can get an associate's degree or you can do it in essentially a year and a half if you want to just get the certificate in precision agriculture. And if you would like to continue on to a university with a four-year degree, there's a great articulation that we have now at Mississippi State University and also Alcorn. Four, and by the time we're through with them, they're able to go out and get a job and make a living and provide for themselves and their families. Job prospects look good. If you want to get out there and work, the jobs are there. Your range in which you can go basically depends on your work ethic. My class size started as 12 people, two of which are already at work. They've been working for two weeks now. They don't even come to class. They come and take Welcome back. I apologize. We're struggling keeping Steady internet signal here. We'll try to, we're doing our best to figure out what's going on. Usually don't have any issues out here. We'll try to figure it out and keep this game live as best as possible. At the plate here for the Trojans, starting things off in the bottom part of the second inning. I believe this is Thomas Kewen. We're number one for the Trojans. Freshman out of Grenada, Mississippi. Plays second base for the Trojans. His first at bat facing Eli Atkins. Two balls, two strikes. It is kind of warm out here. That's what I'm, I'm looking at right now, if that could be a possibility, and that's what it looks like it may be. It is kind of warm out here. We did just cut the AC back on, so maybe we can, won't have any issues. At the plate, so Trojans, Thomas Kewen walks. That's gonna bring to the plate. Drew Gerald, and he's gonna pop one straight up sky high. And no balls, one no balls, one strike. Contact here, high fly ball into center field, and it's a catch. Hayden Roberts gonna make that catch. Two outs now. On the bottom of the second, Blake Chanel at the plate. Chanel, the Trojans' left fielder. We're in number 20. Go, Blake. Two outs. Chanel taking the first pitch. It's going to be called a strike. Again, Blake Chanel watching another pitch, and this one again called strike. So no balls, two strikes. 
to Blake Chanel. And a hard hit ball right back up the middle. And it's going to be fielded by Jackson Settlemeyers at second base and throws it over to first. Out number 30. Itawamba out in front after two innings. One to nothing. We'll take a short break. See you in a bit. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. End of the year, and they've been getting a paycheck. You can make all the money that you're willing to go out and make. The sky's the limit. MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. And welcome back. Colby Lafayette. Pitching game two for the Trojans. The Trojans will be back live here. Jude Treadaway at the plate. And a ground ball right to second base. Thomas Kewen fields it cleanly. One out really quick there in the top part of the third inning. Jackson Settlemeyers now at the plate, second baseman for Itawamba. That one fouled straight back. As I was mentioning, I think we might have gone up there there for just a second. We'll be back here on live action on, it's supposed to be Saturday, but we will be back likely on Friday. The game's gonna be moved back because of the weather. It's Jones College. Coming into town, face the Trojans. No balls, two strikes here for Settlemeyer. So one ball, two strikes now on the low inside pitch. Could be wrong on that. He may have held up one there, but three balls, two strikes, I believe. That's it right there. Right down the middle, strike out there for Colby Lafayette. So two outs. At the plate is Ben Davis who bats three in the. Two balls, one strike here. No idea what's going on with our internet. Bouncing in and out, shouldn't have any issues. Seem to have an excellent connection, so. Don't know what's going on right now. We're just trying to check on it as we're doing. I got behind a little bit there. I believe there was a walk took place while we were checking that out. So I think that was Ben Davis that walks over to first, two outs. Ben Davis on first and Stone Collier at the plate. Outside corner of the plate, strike two, zero, no balls, two strikes. Let's 
Still no balls, two strikes to Collier. High ball one, one ball, two strikes now for Collier. Up high to the right side, and it's going to be out of play. Remains two balls, two strikes. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! My heart is with the students. We are such a tight-knit group here in Business Office Technology. We just get to know them personally. We get to know them as far as what they want to do with their future to help guide and direct and um, be a part of them. Our students that go the accounting direction will take the same basic core classes that all BOT students take. They also begin to pick up advanced business accounting that the other majors do not. They take payroll accounting, they take income tax accounting, QuickBooks. They all will be able to go and be um, like a payroll. Welcome back. I have no idea what's going on here. We're losing internet in and out. Hopefully we can stay with you. We're, we're working on it the best we can. So. Please hang with us. Sorry about that, folks. That's all we can do. Eli Atkins on the heel, facing one of the Trojans, Owen Gaten, right-hander designated hitter. Bat nine in the hitting order for the Trojans. Breaking ball, Eli Atkins. Missing low, two balls, no strikes. Or excuse me, three balls, no strikes, and uh, quick walk. So, runner on first, just like that for the Trojans. Back up to the top part of the hitting order. Foster Mitchell at the plate, the center fielder for the Trojans. Runner on first in front of him. I don't know that Foster Mitchell's been on the back on base today, which is very, very rare. We have not seen that from him. Of course, definitely want your Trojans leadoff hitter to be on base and of course super fast. And get him on the base. Good chance for the Trojans to get a run here. And the ball went down for a second. Again, we're doing our best to stay live. I do not know what's going on here. We haven't had these issues before. Oh, 
Foster Mitchell filing that one away. Three balls, two strikes. Still for Foster Mitchell here facing Eli Atkins for the second time today. Big opportunity here for the Trojans to get something started. Foul out of play. Base hit and more for Foster Mitchell. Runner on first moves on O and Gaden moves on over to third. Stand up double there for Trojans. Center fielder Foster Mitchell and Trojans in a good spot now. I said it the other day, Foster, when I see Foster Mitchell in scoring position, it is, it's almost worth taking to the bank. Cade Oswalt. At the plate now for the Trojans. Two runners in scoring position, no outs. Big opportunity here for Mississippi Delta. Breaking ball the inside, just missing. Just missing Cato's walk. Time going to be called. Eli Atkins. The Trojans. Oswald, of course, a freshman. Or a right, fly ball scores a run from third sacrifice fly there. Kate Oswald going to knock in a run. RBI with the fly ball out in the right field. One out. And at the plate, I believe that's Jacob Brooks. This is Jacob Brooks, Trojan shortstop. Fouls off the first pitch down the third baseline. Again, fouled off. No balls, two strikes. Another ball fouled out of play. One ball, two strikes. Now for the Trojan shortstop Jacob Brooks. Foul. And if you're at home watching the game, I would I would recommend refreshing. We are having some technical issues, but that should help a little bit of the problems. Jacob Brooks gonna pop this one up, high fly ball into short, shallow center field, tag up from third. And the speedy. Base runner there for the Trojan. I told you, you can almost take it to the bank. Foster Mitchell got in scoring position and he did score. 
That's his first time even on the bag today. That's a big, big thing there for the Trojans. Alford Hill at the plate. Now two outs, Trojans out in front, two to one here in game two. Alford Hill going to pop up that one out of play, straight back behind. Home plate, one ball, one strike now. Alford Hill, nobody on after, sac after the sacrifice fly. And a ground ball that's fielded by Jackson Settlemeyers. Out number three, Trojans find two runs in the bottom of the third to take control here in game two. Going into the fourth inning. We'll take a short break. Be back after this. You're watching MDCC Sports Network. An accounts payable receivable, Clark. Some of our students want to go on to the university level, and they can. And they're prepared to go on and get a, a maybe possibly a bachelor's degree in accounting or even get their CPA. Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Are you or a family member in need of rehabilitation? Well, North Sunflower Medical Center can help. Our swing bed program is designed to assist patients who have recently experienced a knee or hip replacement, heart surgery, or an operation that requires further rehabilitation. So if you have been in the hospital for a few days and are not quite ready to go back home, our swing bed program can help you get back to the road to recovery. We provide physical and occupational therapy to help the patient with coordination and mobility. With that said, getting you back to day-to-day -day function is our main goal, and we will help you with every step. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to roll hold. Welcome back. Colby Lafayette on the hill for the Trojans all the game two. Trojans taking the lead in the bottom part of the third inning and we are gonna see Bo Rock, the first baseman, be the first hitter to face. Colby Lafayette here in the top part of the fourth inning Bo Rock, of course, the first baseman for Itawamba, and he's going to get a piece of this one. High fly ball, center fieldish. Uh, excuse me, right field. <laughs> Sometimes my multi view tricks me. I just play off of reactions, and that's Brennan Searles over there for the Trojans there to make the catch. Out number one in the top part of the fourth inning. J Dre McRae at the plate. We're number six. And McRae got to get a base hit this time at the plate as he faces his former teammate pitching, Colby Lafayette. And so, base hit for McCray. Hayden Roberts at the plate, wearing number 24. One out, one runner on in front of him. Roberts, number seven in the hitting order. And a ground ball, high bouncing ground ball. Fielded by Trojans first baseman, Alford Hill. And Alford Hill going to flip it to Trojan pitcher Colby Lafayette at first base. Out number two. Runner does move over to second. 
So runner in scoring position for Itawamba. Jarrett Morris at the plate. Freshman out of Nesbitt, Mississippi. And another high bouncing ball here. And it's gonna be fielded by Jacob Brooks on the run and they're gonna say safe over at first. <laughs> Jacob Brooks taking a full lap. That was a close one over at first. Running for you. There we go, I think we got it up and running again. Don't know what happened there. I really do think, think heat is a factor and some of its superhuman technology does not like humidity. So I think that's what we're running into right now. We occasionally run into that. It's the only, and after three and a half, we've got a tie ball game here. You'll take Microsoft Access. Also, you take business communications, so you learn how to communicate effectively in the business world, and that's so important. One really great benefit to our students is they get to do an externship, so they actually get to go out and shadow and work for a business, so they get those hands-on experiences. They can start off in any entry-level position as far as a payroll clerk goes, an administrative assistant, even possibly a manager of a business. When I came up, you know, everybody said go to a four-year college, blah, blah, blah. Really and truly, if I had it to do over again, I would come to a community college and learn a skill because skilled labor right now, these guys are the future. They're gonna be the ones making the money. We do offer a certificate program, a technical certificate program, and an associate's degree out of this program. So there's three career paths that they could take, a one year, two year, or take some academics and do an associate's degree. We do an apprentice program and an on the job training program through Wind Job Center with several of our dealers in our area. Welcome back, Thomas Kuhn gonna lead things off at the bottom of the Fourth inning. Tied here, two to two. Trojans in their hitting order. Thomas Kewen's fifth on deck, Drew Gerald. And then after that, Brennan Searles, five, six, seven in the hitting order. New pitcher, Tyler Yearwood on the heel for Get a Wamba. That pitch gonna be called a strike. Two strikes. Thomas Kewen laying off that pitch. Low and outside. So one ball, two strikes. Or excuse me, two balls, two strikes. See the first hitter here facing Tyler Yearwood. And ground ball base hit. Thomas Kewen. This is Drew Gerald now at the plate for the Trojans, the right-hander, playing catcher. The runner on in front of him, no outs. And Gerald going, going to make contact with the first pitch, high fly ball out in the right field. Dre McC Dr excuse me, Dre McCray gonna be under it to make the catch out number one. Brendan Searles now at the plate for the Trojans. Just one out. Searles, of course, the Trojan right fielder.
Pitch missing. On pitch catch in the outside of the plate. Called strike. As Searles lays off of it. No balls and a strike for Searles. Got one out and one runner on in front of him. Searles wanted to swing at that one. Kind of leaned into it. Changed his mind. No balls, two strikes for Searles. Low ball one. Searles got to guard the play here. Searles going to put this one in play. Base hit. And uh, right center field. So Thomas Kewen on his horse. Gets on over to third. Takes off on the well-struck ball from Brendan Searles. So runners on the corner right now for the Trojans with just one out. And lefty. Blake Chanel at the plate. First pitch to Chanel, nearly hit by the yep, hit by pitch. Loads the bases. Pass ball there. I think Chanel. He was. He could have got out of the way of that ball. That could have been trouble. That could have been an easy run for the Trojans. Pass ball could have allowed Thomas Kewen to come across the plate. Wild pitch there by Yearwood. That pitch going to be called a strike. We're at Gay Nowen again at the plate for the Trojans. Bases loaded in front of him. Just the one out. Breaking ball missing to the outside and low. 1-1 one, one. the count to Owen Gaden. Saw that happen the other day. Bat slipped out of Owen Gaden's hand. Goes back into the uh, the netting behind home plate, back over towards home dugout. It's the second time we've seen that happen in the last week. Bat slipping out of a player's hands. So two balls, two strikes now for Owen Gaden. Foul ball back. Again, still two balls and two strikes for Gaden. Big at bat here. And Owen Gaden gonna round it right to shortstop. And a man, a lot happened there. Fielded at shortstop by Jude Treadaway, and he throws it, flips it over to second, gets the uh, gets out at second, throws over to first, the throw to first one in time, trying to turn the double play. What's going on here? I'm interested in what's going on here. We'll we'll step aside for a second, see if we can get some answers. Watching MDCC Sports Network. And I've got dealerships and private guys just beating the door down needing technicians. So this skill right here is something they can carry on through life. They can make a living at. If you know what you're doing, you can make six figures. No problem. That's a lot of money.
At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle, you're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service, when you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. Kiki Jackson. I'm the administrator at Walter B. Crook Nursing Facility at North Sunflower Medical Center and we would love to show you why to make us your home away from home. We're different because we're a long-term care facility with private rooms. We have five courtyards, we have a registered dietitian, and we have the best activities program. We only want to give the best to the Mississippi Delta. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Ruleville. I've been on heavy equipment my entire life. And I was nine years old and my dad told me to dig a ditch about a mile long and left me there for a week and I did it. It's a lot of different pieces of equipment it takes to get the job done. We have backhoes, skid steers, track loaders, bulldozers, motor graders, dump trucks. You need to know all of them and be a master at one or two of them. That way you can fluctuate throughout a construction job site. Construction equipment, it's everywhere. My long-term goal has always been to teach. I had a professor when I was in culinary school that was kind of one of these life-changing guys. Spent a lot of time and effort with me. And my long-term goal was always to give back, to be able to share my knowledge of food uh, with a younger generation. In the culinary world, our end game is very simple. We're trying to entertain you and we're trying to fulfill you, whether it's through the sight of the food, the smell of the food, or the taste. Welcome back. There's a lot of action. It's, the score is going to be two to two when all of the dust is settled. Uh, there, Coach Stanley is very upset and as he should be. They, they were saying there was interference at second as the runner slid into second and interrupted the uh, the movement of shortstop. Jude Treadaway as he was throwing over to first and they uh, they called the runner automatically out at first. So it's gonna be two to two on the board and Trojans had two runners cross the plate there. That's a, that's a big, big uh, swing and uh, it's a, uh, well, that could be a momentum shift for the Trojans. Should be, again, two to two. We'll see, this should update here in a second on our on our graphic. It's still showing four to two on the board, so that's what we've got. And we are in the top of the fifth inning. The top frame, and this is uh, this is a uh, interesting situation. We're going to hear I had to go out on the field and find out what the good clarification. Fly ball on first first pitch. Didn't even see who was hitting there. I apologize. Fly ball out in the left field. Blake Chanel going to be there to catch it. 29 at the plate. That was, that's Jackson Settermeyer's. That was, excuse me, that was Jude Treadaway at the plate. 
So uh, that flew out. So one out here in the top. I think it is the fifth inning. I believe it is the top of the fifth inning. I, I believe they're still working on stuff in the in the press box trying to get the score corrected. And high fly ball out into center field. And Foster Mitchell going to be there to make the catch. Foster was who I actually went and caught before they ran out of the field. It's like, hey, man, what, what's going on? He was kind of informing me what, of what the whole discussion was about. Ben Davis at the plate now, two out, two quick outs. It's called a strike. Again, we're a little bit of controversy here in the fourth inning. There we go, 2-2. Two, two. And he just threw out three. He just threw out Colby Lafayette, Drew Gerald, and and this is this is this just got crazy. Uh, absolute chaos there. Just threw out Drew Gerald, Colby Lafayette, and oh my goodness, he oh I think he thinks that that was intentional. That was intentional, but he that's what he was thinking. I don't I don't think it was intentional at all. This game this just escalated into absolute chaos, and that is that is that is absolutely terrible. That is that is. Absolutely horrible. I've never seen anything like that. And that is one of the most ridiculous things I have ever seen in a baseball game in my entire life. Uh, I mean, just the umpire, I mean, the catcher missed the ball there, and umpire just pointed at the player and threw both the pitcher and the catcher out and the coach. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what's what's going to go on here, uh, how this is going to end. We're going to step away for a second. Let this, let some smoke settle, or let some dust settle here. This is this is a bit crazy. You have to have all three of those aspects together to make a really really good dish. There's one thing their freshman year that I just beat to death, and it's the six keys to becoming a professional chef: knowledge, skill, taste, judgment, dedication, and pride. And if a student has those six things and follows through with them, they will be wildly successful. Having a dream and following through with that dream is probably one of the most rewarding things that I can have. So we're back, Coach Coach Luke Stanley ejected. I don't know how it happened, but also Kate Oswalt, Trojan third baseman, ejected. Um, and you can see Jason Connor stepping out on the field, talk things over with the Trojans. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this should be a 4-2 ball game, and it's it's 2-2 ball game, and it's, it's, it's kind of out of hand. The umpires have... I have never seen anything like this. Just ejected Trojan pitcher, K, uh, um, Colby Lafayette. Probably got a, we're probably going to get a pitcher warming up here for the Trojans. And new catcher coming in for the Trojans as well. We'll, we'll get that information as soon as it comes available. We'll step back aside. 
At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle, you're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service, when you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. All right, I think we're kind of settled in. I've got to figure a figure, few things out. Number 30. Will Holbrook's going to be playing second now for the Trojans. Over third place is Thomas Kewen. Uh, behind the plate, Thomas Leon. And pitching will be going to read again several ejections taking place umpire still trying to sort things out with Jason Connor and assistant coach Tyler Milligan uh, this is a uh, crazy situation of course the, when, that, when that pitch happened I mean there was no uh, There was uh, no incentive. It's one ball, no strikes, uh, two outs, nobody on. So, uh, so Colby Lafayette ejected. Uh, catcher Drew Gerald, third baseman Cade Oswalt, which. And, of course, Coach Luke Stanley. I'm actually trying to listen in on that mic. That mic pointed is pointed towards them. I can't really. This is an absolute, this is just absolutely crazy. It actually could have been, uh, man, that's a huge shift in the momentum. And, and uh, of course, good job by Coach Milligan and Coach Stanley keeping the players fairly calm. I mean, in, the, in a situation like that, that, I mean, <laughs> Something I have never seen before. It's it's fortunate that we're not we're not seeing. We didn't see more of uh, retaliation or because these, those two, all of those players. Of course, I talked to several of them as they walked off the field. They they really have no idea. Do not have any understanding of what just happened. And it sounds like we're fixing. A, looks like we're trying to remove some parents now. And. And I'll be honest with you, this crew, this this crew just needs to probably just needs to settle down and stop throwing people out. <laughs> if you're if you're having to eject half the crowd, the crowd's likely not the problem. So, Coach Connor's making his way over towards the fence. I was hoping we'd get this thing back started. This is. Uh, this is nuts. Kind of crazy. I came back live because I thought we were fixing to actually get things back rolling, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case.
All right, so, I mean, of course the Trojans here, <laughs> the Trojans are going to have a little bit of fire up under them after that. And hopefully we can uh, recover after that. There's two outs in the, this is the fifth inning, top part of the fifth inning. Uh, Thomas Leon behind the plate, at the, on the hill, on the hill, number nine, Gunner West. So, excuse me, Gunner Reed. Um, came in after Colby Lafayette was ejected. And um, on third base, again, this is another change for the Trojans in the field. Thomas Q in at third, and Holbrooks at second. And back to hitter at the plate, Ben Davis, I believe that's who it is. It's been a long break. Two balls, one strike here. I mean, tension is high here in Moorhead, Mississippi. This is a rough situation. Breaking ball going to be called strike. Two balls, two strikes. No, no, no. So there, oh, man, the last pitch, the last pitch that hit him was a strike. The pitch that hit him that, that he threw a player out over was called, he called a strike. And, uh. And this is, anyway, two balls, two strikes is what the umpire is saying. Low outside pitch, nobody on, so nothing hurt. Thomas Leon blocks it up. Three-two pitch here. Breaking ball misses to the outside. And Ben Davis is going to walk. Man, if there's ever been a baseball game that got your heart rate up more than that, I, I, I definitely haven't seen it. That, that's, I'm interested. I'm just, this is crazy. A little outside, ball one. Runner on the first. So we have a tie ball game here in Moorhead, Mississippi. Tensions are hot. I hate to I hate to even text the press box and find out for sure what inning we're in. But I'm pretty sure it's the top of the fifth inning. Just a lot going on coming out of the fourth. A lot of controversy leaving the fourth and then in, coming into the fifth. That pitch is going to be called a strike. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. Pitch called a strike, so now three balls, two strikes. And that was a contact going to be made, base hit between uh, Thomas Kewen and, and Jacob Brooks. Of course, Kewen over at third base now. Whew. Need one out here. Hey. It's two here in the top of the fifth. And Dre McCray at the plate with two outs. And this is this is this is a huge momentum shift. Dre McCray's first time facing 
Gonna read. Pitch missing just. Ah, pass ball. Moves the runners over to second and third. Really unfortunate set of events. Chain reaction from the inning before. Should have been four to two. I think Coach Tyler Milligan is going to come out and talk to his coach. It's one of the longest innings of baseball I've ever been a part of, or half of an inning. I mean, two outs has taken 30 minutes. I mean, we were at two outs, and it's taken 30 minutes to even. Gonna read. Hanging around for the Trudens. Of course, just coming in after all our controversy. Three balls, no strikes. Gonna read a freshman out of Ackerman. Misses. Gotta feel for the Trojans here. High inside at the play here is number 12, Jared Morris. I think uh, coach is kind of looking at where we can move things around. That's what's happening. There's some players being moved around maybe. We'll see here. Trojans now just trying to get through this game. We are broad in our area of what we teach. A student can come through and they can go in the mechanical design aspect of it. They can go into the architectural. They can go into the civil and surveying, estimating. I would say this is probably the sixth or fifth year that we've been heavy into the 3D printing. It is a valuable tool and it's the wave of the future. You don't have to have an art background. You don't have to have an engineering background. You want to pursue a four-year degree? We've got different avenues for that also. So my spare time, I'm still drawing at home, uh, designing residential homes and commercial buildings. I love what I do. And when I can teach a student to do and love what I do, it makes my day. It's wide open with electrical technology. We start with basic residential wiring. Uh, we start talking about how ACDC works together. And then we go into motor control for our second. Welcome back. Jacob Brooks now pitching for the Trojans. Thomas Kewen moves over to second, I mean, it's to shortstop. Number 25, Mason Morgan over on third for the Trojans. As I said, big mix up. And all that's going on, all the action earlier in this inning. Ball 
going to be put in play high fly ball out in the right field. It's going to be caught out number three. Trojans trailing three. Going in the bottom of the fifth. We'll be back in a second. You're watching MDCC Sports Network. Sorry, folks, we may have left it live there by accident, but trying to help them out up top, get the get everything back up. People that were running scoreboard had, to, of course, the game admins had to come down to the field, so kind of got chaotic up there. Just try to help them out the best we can. Foster Mitchell at the plate. Foster Mitchell going to put a ball in play. High fly ball out of the left field going to be caught. Out number one in the bottom of the fifth. So one out, nobody on for the Trojans. See who this is at the plate again. It got a huge mix up in order. That was high inside pitch and number 29. See who this is hitting. Again, this is a huge mix up for us. For the Trojans. That's Will Holbrooks at the plate. Seems like ages, but I think it was in the third. Little line drive shot, center field, going to be caught. That's Hayden Roberts out there to make the catch for Itawamba. And now at the plate for the Trojans. Last inning he was pitching. 
home in the shortstop, but it's Jacob Brooks at the plate. Racing here, Wood. Laying off the first pitch. Ball one, missing to the outside just a little bit. That pitch is going to be called strike. One ball, one strike now. Ball going to be popped up. Foul out of play. Supposed to be one out. They are, I think they're trying to work on the innings right now and get everything situated. As you can see, it's showing the second inning, which is uh, not correct. Yeah, they're getting everything situated up in the uh, press box right now. So it has gotten pretty quiet and dead here late in this ball game. Five to two as this, our, you can see the scoreboard updating here. That has to do with what they're doing up in the press box, and it is five to two in Itawamba's favor. And they got the inning straight now, so there we go. They got it. He's trying to get ejected too. And uh, Jacob Brooks, I, I knew you right there. He should have. He shouldn't have said anything. He shouldn't have said anything. And that's uh. Programmable logic control. Anything to do with electrical, we basically cover that. Their career options are unlimited, so you could be just a regular handyman doing residential, putting ceiling fans up, remodels for kitchens, can lights, receptacles, hanging wall-mounted TVs. You could go work with a grain bin system. You could work for a farmer, a grain elevator. Cellular South picks our guys up because they need technicians for the towers. They can make 50, 60 grand starting out. I have students who are hired before they get out of school. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Welcome back. I have no idea where everybody is now. I'm going to do my best to figure this out. Uh, Jacob Brooks got ejected after being called out there at the plate. And also, they got Nash Koska, who was just pulling Brooks off the field. First pitch going to be missed to the outside. Jackson. Jackson Snelling's pitching now for the Trojans. Ground ball, high bouncer. Could be fielded over at third base. Have no idea who that is on the bag, and it's going to be a little bit of a high throw. Base runner real quick. 
for Itawamba. That was uh, Jude Treadaway at the plate who just uh, got the base hit. Jackson Settlemyers now at the plate for Itawamba. No outs and a runner on in front of him. A rough day for Trojan baseball. Showing bunt, pass ball. Gets past Thomas Leon. Runner moves over to second. You are in the top of the sixth inning. Right here, lay down. Snelling got to field it, throw it over to first. Easy out. Snelling's easy play over at first. We have one out, one runner on third. Number 18, Ben Davis at the plate. up good enough there Thomas Leon Trojan catcher and on the outside pitch ground ball it's fielded at second base at this wheel Holbrooks at second base for the Trojans. Cleanly fielded right there. Two outs, big, big stop there for the Trojans. Held up the runner over at third. Now two outs. Got to mention where they are in the hitting order. I mean, a lot going on here. My mind is all over the place. Stone Collier, designated hitter at the plate with two outs, runner on third. This is Collier, number four in the hitting order for Itawamba. This is some chaos. And that pitch is called a strike. Jackson Snellings is gonna throw a pitch and it's gonna be hit. A line drive shot, base hit. Out in the left field, Stone Collier bay, knocking the run in over at third. Six to two. Number 17's Bo Rock. The uh, left-hander playing first base here game two for Itawamba. Tough day here for Trojan baseball. They're they're not done. Hopefully they can pull things together. One ball, one strike here for Bo Rocky. Files that one on straight back. 
Hope the umpire doesn't eject anybody for that ball hitting him. One ball, two strikes. Going to put it in play. Fielded by whoever's playing shortstop for the Trojans. I bet that's Thomas Kewen and fields that for the Trojans. That's who it looks like. And that'll do it for the top, uh, for the sixth inning, or the top half of the sixth inning. Uh, Etiwamba finds one run. We'll take a short break. Be back after this. You're watching the MDCC Sports Network. Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer, delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. My name is Zach Warrington, pharmacist here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland. Hair Drug Center, we are proud to offer a drive through service, fast free delivery, and a friendly staff. My favorite part about working here at Hair Drug Center in Cleveland is our customers. We know them by name and they know us and we take care of them. One thing I think our customers appreciate about us is that we're fast and that's something we strive for is to get people their medication as quickly as possible. For all your medication needs, come to Hair Drug Center in Cleveland, we're here for you. Welcome back. Trojans got some work to do. Trailing four runs in the bottom of the six. Alford Hill, big hitter for Trojans. And that's the number four spot plays first base. Tyler Yearwood pitching, filing the uh, first pitch to Alford Hill. Fouled off straight back. Still two innings, I mean, or two at bats for the Trojans. Still a shot for them. Got to get the bats going, though. Breaking ball there from Yearwood caught a strike. So now no balls and two strikes. Yeah. Uh, that is a ground ball. It's going to be fielded by shortstop. Jude tread away. <clears throat> Thomas Kewen at the plate for the Trojans. Of course, now playing shortstop after all of the crazy activities. The freshman, Grenada, Mississippi. And that ball is fouled out of play. Pitch missing low into the outside. One ball, one strike for Thomas Q and facing Tyler Yearwood. Nobody on, just a one, like I said, one out. Fly ball out into right field, Ray McRae. Going to be there to make the catch. Out number two. Thomas Leon. At the plate for the Trojans with two outs. Nobody on. He is first at bat today. First time, of course, facing Tyler Yearwood. Thomas Leon, a sophomore out of Olive Branch, Mississippi. Olive Branch High School. Came in playing catcher after the, uh, after all our fun controversy. 
That pitch is going to be called a strike. Two balls, one strike. Foul ball. Two balls, two strikes. Hard hit ball, base hit here, Thomas Leon. I'll step aside for just a second. I'll leave it, I'm gonna leave it on the wide for just a second. Gotta go take care of something real quick. Going on out in the field, we'll be, we'll leave it here for you. Our program deals more with the agronomy side of agriculture and how to grow crops. Also with the agribusiness side, we talk about yield monitors on combines and cotton pickers. We talk about uh, guidance on tractors. We talk about variable rate technologies. We talk a little bit about remote sensing and how we're using the drones out on the farm. We get into dealing with a little bit on livestock. We cover so many weeks for each crop that we grow around here and I also teach a farm machinery and shop management class. With the technological background we've got now in agriculture, there are some good paying jobs out there waiting. And right now we've got more people calling in with jobs than we've got graduates to fill them. It's very special to me that you can take a seed and plant it in the ground and you can see a plant grow and you can see something to harvest from it. MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. Top of the seventh, top of the seventh inning, Trojans trailing six to two. They're coming back from the break, of course. Jackson's Jackson Snellings, pitching for the Trojans, coming in. I believe his last inning. All right, so are we in the hitting order? This is Dre McCray at the plate. Low outside. Ball one. Hard hit ball, base hit right down the line. McCray rounding two. Stand up double for Dre McCray. That's going to bring a left-hander, number 24, Hayden Roberts, to to the to the plate and uh, 
kind of crazy. The umpire was just like, standing over in the uh, foul territory, just looking at NBCC dugout, trying to throw somebody else out. It's it's kind of ridiculous. Like, uh, you know, I've never seen anything anything like this. The shadiest thing I've ever seen. Bunt. And throw over to first. They're going to call him out. That was a close one. The runner moves over to third. One out. Number 12, Derek Morris at the plate. Going to lay off that first pitch. It's going to be called strike. And hit by pitch, runner on. First and third now. That's Nelling. It's Derek Morris. And number 35, Luke Wood going to come in and hit. And the seventh inning. Runners on the corners. Low outside, ball one. Pitch from Jackson Snellings. Missing outside to the right-hander. Low outside, ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Ball three. So three balls and no strikes. Jackson Stellings going to walk him on four pitches. Going to walk uh, Wood on four pitches. So loads the bases up. Back to the top of the hitting order. Jude Treadaway just one out. I believe that's who's coming to the plate. Yep, that is tread away. We have Trojans got forces. All the bases. He's got to get a stop here. Ground ball. Flip it second. Holbrooks gets the one at two. Flips it to Thomas Q and Thomas Q and throws over to first. Under throws it to uh, Alford Hill. Another run comes across the plate for Itawamba. Of course, there's a big shakeup in the infield for the Trojans, people all over the place. Holbrook's doing a good job there. See where the runners are. Runners on the corners. So two outs. First pitch. Uh, Jackson Settlemyers misses high. One ball, no strikes. So we're going to miss. Pass ball. gets Outside pitch gets past Thomas Leon. Runner now on second four. Itawamba. Two runs have come across the plate this inning. Jackson Snellings. One one here facing Settlemyers. 
That one right back. That one right back and hits. Thomas Lee on right in the helmet. All adjusted here. So one ball. Looks like two balls, two strikes. Scoreboard a little bit behind us. They'll, they'll catch on in a second. Outside ball three, so three balls, two strikes. Breaking ball. And that's called a strike. <laughs> and we'll take a short break. At Cannon Motors of Greenwood, we've served thousands of customers. We understand that you're not just coming to us for a vehicle. You're looking for experience that will improve your life. That's why we're proud to offer a team you can trust. From sales to service. When you think car, think Cannon. Visit us at Cannon Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Greenwood to test drive a new Charger GT or a new Wagoneer. And remember, when the smoke clears, nobody beats a Cannon deal. Nobody! Welcome back. New pitcher here for Itawamba. Reeves Crowder going to come in through in the seventh inning. Interesting day of baseball. Uh, had a pretty good ball game going up until the uh, fourth inning. Tied 2-2 and wheels just kind of fell off. Go back and watch the chaos if you if you're just tuning in. It's a uh, it's a doozy. Hopefully the Trojans can get out of this without any other any other damage. Blake Chanel at the plate for the Trojans. Trojans uh, left fielder. First to pitch to Chanel. You can lay off it is called a strike. Pitch from Crowder. Catches the inside part of the plate on the left hander. That pitch gonna be called a strike. Chanel did not like that. You can see his face, he just he just was discouraged by that call. Um, it looked a little bit outside. Now one ball, two strikes. Again, I always say I wouldn't want to be the umpire behind the plate calling balls and strikes for sure. It's not a not an easy thing to do. One, two. Or Blake Chanel. And Chanel lays off that pitch. Even. Ah, it's going to hit him. It's going to hit him in the elbow. Two ball. It was. Uh, so the Trojans get a base runner just like that as Reeves Crowder walks. Blake Chanel. And at the plate for the Trojans, wearing number 25, Mason Morgan, who's come in and playing third here late in the ball game.
No outside ball one. Mason Morgan laying off that pitch. Inside, ball two. So two balls, no strikes here for Mason Morgan. It's three balls, no strikes. That pitch definitely a strike on the inside part of the plate. Mason Morgan thought he had a free base. Of course, the runner over on first. Foul ball. Mason Morgan going to put this one to play. Ground ball to uh, shortstop. And Jude Treadaway fields it, throws it to first. Gets out number two. Ooh, is that one or two? I think that is out number one. Kind of hard figuring out where, every, where we are in the actual hitting order now. Back up to the top of the Trojan hitting order, and I know that for sure. Foster Mitchell at the plate for Mississippi Delta, who, with one out, runner in scoring position ahead of him. Balls and a strike. Showing one ball, one strike now. That's the second time we've seen this today. <laughs> Foster Mitchell completely lost his bat. I don't even. I think it. <laughs> I think it went out of out of play. That's a little bit of uh, give us something to smile about, something to laugh at today. <laughs> Foster Mitchell's bat coming back into. <laughs> coming back into the field of play. So one ball and two strikes for Foster Mitchell. I think it went over the dugout on the, uh, the visitor side. And Foster Mitchell going to put it in play. It's going to score a run for the Trojans. As Blake Chanel rounds third. And Foster Mitchell slides into second for a double. Trojans not giving up, just one out. At the point here, I think it's Will Holbrooks. Just the one out, Trojan 6-3, showing on the board. That pitch gonna be called a strike, lower part of the strike zone. Reeves Crowder, just coming in this inning. A little bit high there. Holbrook's gonna lay off that pitch, one ball, one strike. And 
Brooks going to pop this one up. High fly ball. It's going to be caught. So two outs. John Baraja at the plate for the Trojans now. Two outs. His first time to hit today. John Baraja gets hit, first pitch, gets hit on the shoulder, turns his back, walks on over to first. So, Alfred Hill at the plate for the Trojans. Alfred Hill bats clean up for the Trojans. And he gets a good solid piece of this one. And it's going to be a base hit. And loads the bases up for the Trojans. Just moves the runners on around. So Thomas Q ending up next for the Trojans. Getting a pitching change, maybe. Yeah, new. Oh, what we got here? Well, this is fun. Let's. Looks like we will get a pitching change, maybe. Or either something in the field is changing. Yep, yeah, no, pitch and change. We'll be back in a second. Warmer days can only mean one thing. It's time to get back out in the yard. Whether you're landscaping, mowing, moving brush, or anything in between, Wade Inc. has the John Deere equipment you need to get the job done. What are you waiting for? A visit to Wade is your ticket to Yard of the Month every month. Wade Incorporated, your North Mississippi John Deere dealer. Delivering service, solutions, and success since 1909. North Sunflower Medical Center is proud to serve the Delta with quality health care. We offer cardiology services with Jackson Heart, Swing Bed, Pulmonary Function Studies, Hospice Care, a Surgery Center, a Wound Clinic, Senior Care, and the Walter B. Crook Nursing Home. I know that sounds like a lot, but we offer even more. Check out NorthSunflower.com for a full list of our services. North Sunflower Medical Center is truly a gem of the Delta. Don't worry about driving too far to receive great care. It's right outside your back door. North Sunflower Medical Center, take me to Ruleville. Love the field of study, love refrigeration. It's what I've done basically since I got out of high school. I came right into this same program in this same shop. Well, with HVAC, there's so many different avenues you can take between refrigeration, ice machines, commercial refrigeration, uh, residential heating and air conditioning, commercial heating and air conditioning, and so on and so forth. There's endless opportunities for these guys. Our goal is to have these sophomores Bo Rock coming in to pitch for ICC. I believe that's who that is. Yep, Bo Rock. Been playing first base all day for Indians at Awamba. High fly ball here, one pitch, and that's going to do it. We're done here in Moorhead, Mississippi. As crazy day, day of baseball. We will uh, we'll see you back on, I believe it's going to be Friday as games are being probably likely going to be moved due to some weather. But we will uh, see you then. Thank you for joining us today. You've been watching the MDCC Sports Network. At a job where after spring break, they don't come back. They're on the job learning and providing for their family. There's nothing better to have a student come back after five or six years to give you their success story. How they went from where they were to where they are now. 
and I was a part of that. I am a graduate of Mississippi Delta. 